Hello, why don't you learn how to perform CPR so that you could one day save a life? My name's Catherine Lavery and I'm the chairman of Yorkshire Ambulance Service. I am supporting Yorkshire Ambulance Service. I'm really proud to be supporting the Yorkshire Ambulance Service campaign. I am supporting the Yorkshire Ambulance Service's Restart a Heart campaign to teach the public CPR. If you find someone who has collapsed, you need to know what to do. The first thing to do is to check for a response by gently shaking the patient by their shoulders and shouting, Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? If you don't get a response and the patient doesn't appear to be breathing or not breathing properly, they are in a cardiac arrest. You don't need to place your ear and cheek close to the patient's mouth to do this. If you think there's a risk of infection, place a cloth or a towel over the patient's mouth and nose. You need to call 999 and make sure the ambulance is on its way to help you. Next, you need to start hands-only CPR. You do this by putting your two hands together and interlocking your fingers. Kneel next to the patient's side and place your hands in the centre of the chest. And push hard and fast about two times per second. Push down about five to six centimetres each time. You could use the beat of staying alive or baby shark to get the correct rate. Don't worry about making the situation worse or hurting the patient. Keep going until the ambulance arrives or the patient recovers. And make sure an ambulance is on the way to put down about five or six centimetres.